Hey there, have you ever dreamed of going electric, yet there was nowhere to plug in those big tools? Daniel Hartman, Community Machinery, Sackville, New Brunswick, another shop improvement update. Now you can see up there in the back is a cable reel, which might have been in the last shop improvement video, but now we have a second cable reel, which you probably can't see that well. It's down there on the ground. And left a little extra loop of cable on the wall there, just uh, seal tight. We ran down to the unit and that means it can move around because I'm not quite sure where this racking is staying and what things are moving around. So that gives us a little bit of wiggle room for the future, hopefully enough wiggle room. And so that one's 600 volt, the one up there is 208 volt and other shop improvements that one thing I've been putting out for a long time, made up this T uh, handle for the dovetail on this iron worker. Now this thing, every time it went to release, it basically needed to tap this down with a mallet because it would get wedged in the dovetail. So now the back side of here has a key. I'm gonna post some pictures of that key on Instagram just the photos of how it all goes together. So basically this piece came off, removed a little slot in the back side, put a groove in this bolt. So now when this undoes, it pushes that bolt down. That undoes when this loosens. When we loosen this, it pushes that down. Anyhow, I'm gonna learn grammar after I learn how to run a machine shop. So that's a huge improvement. The other thing, because we've added this shelf here for all the tooling. There's a switch here in the back to switch from this front operator station to an operator station on the back corner for the coper notcher. And the switch was way in on the inside. I don't know if we can get a little footage of that. There's a switch here and it was all the way inside there. So it took that cover, flipped it front to back. So instead of being on the inside corner, it's now on the outside corner. It's just a little easier to reach. I was trying to get it onto the top corner, but with this other joystick here, all that gear was inside and there was no room for that other switch. So did the best we could on that one. It'd almost be nice to have a switch right on the side here, but don't think that's gonna happen. So anyhow, that was a quick and dirty I think it took all 10 minutes to move that switch location. And it's just gonna be less of a contortionist act. Other thing, there was a really cool improvement, which might have been in a previous video, might not have been, but still loving, is this lever door handle. It matches the front lever door handle. So if one ever breaks, now that I'm saying this, I realize it probably wasn't a previous video. Same parts in both, which is nice. And yeah, and I also said about putting those little orange stickers on there to know from a distance if the door is locked or not. With that, I can't remember what all the other shop improvements are for now. So with that, I'm out. All the best on your shop improvements. Please like, please subscribe, please comment below on things you might be stuck on that maybe you've got an idea around. Till next time, take care.